How's it going, everybody? My name is Superminer64. Welcome to the Superminer64 podcast show, where we talk about trending topics in the plush community, video gaming, and life itself. Today, uh, today's guest is Plush God Aduck. Um, and I, I honestly don't, I honestly don't really know what to talk about. Uh, oh, I have a good let's one. Let's talk about why Bubsy is coming back. Sure, let's do that. Uh, so recently, uh, Bubsy, uh, the infamous, uh, cat guy. Uh, he has arised in the community. Oh, no, he has arised. Uh, a new game has been announced. I forgot the name for it, but uh, there was a new trailer yesterday. Uh, everyone is freaking out about it. Yeah, what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, that's good. Because no one wanted the piece of shit. And two, but two, it wasn't really popular. It I left see. a lot to be desired. Also, I own the Bubsy 2 for pack on Steam, which gives you both Bubsy 1 and Bubsy 2 in a convenient game package. I see. That, that I, I bought it. And I tried playing the games on my laptop, and they're really hard. They're hard because it's like the controls are so slippery. Yeah. I I don't really know what what the developers of Bubsy were smoking back then. <laughs> but apparently they smoked enough. To, and apparently, think about it. Bubsy was meant to be like a smooth pop culture talker. Yeah. And he's now in the... the the advent of memes. He's gonna talk about memes. Yeah, I think it was because of what JonTron did in his video and the arise of that and all that stuff and the uh, Sonic Forces memes. Yes, oh. but see, here's think about it. Bubsy used to be a character that was all about puns. Yeah. Think about how many puns he could make on modern pop culture. Ooh. I've actually That'd never thought about that before. Us. Well, I don't have to worry about Bubsy or whatever, because that stuff's only but coming out for coming PS4. To the PlayStation 4. Yeah, nothing He's for Xbox or Switch. Nothing for and Xbox or Switch yet. E3 will probably get uh, probably get more info on that. Or whatever. Yeah, and also he's also coming He's also coming to Steam. Yeah? Which I may or may not buy. Uh, I actually have a Steam account, and I use it to play Sonic Generations. It's a pretty fun game. Well, I bought Sonic Adventure 2, and I can't really control it. Because I don't have a, com I don't have a controller that can plug, well, that you could use on a, on a computer. I have... Adventure 2 on my uh, GameCube. It's hmm. it's pretty fun. I'm stuck on the part where you're. It's like a sand temple, and you're playing as Knuckles. I can't even control the first level without losing all my rings. Huh? Like in Sonic Generations, I managed to get about halfway done, and I got to like uh, what you call it. Hell and well, Sonic 06, and I and I well, never used a controller yet. I'm getting Sonic Forces for the for for the Switch. The problem, personally, I'm I don't think I'm not that bothered by the customizable characters. I'm I'm I actually don't have a problem with that either. I mean, at least they can get sales because a majority of the Sonic fan base is just like crazy, and I'm pretty sure Sad AM and Sally, 
Sally Acord probably influenced the furry thing. At least, uh, at least they'll finally get to bring their OCs into the game. Dark Spine the Hedgehog. Yeah, or original the character. Yeah. Do not steal. Do not steal. Uh, I I love. Think of all the memes that could be created. Yeah, maybe we could actually get. Maybe someone could actually make Bubsy in there. Yeah, like this thing. Bubsy is a meme. Yeah. He's been a meme. Yeah, he's been a meme for a while. I mean, and not just for the games, just for the one episode of that one pilot. There was that was that was Think the only about episode. It, like, Probably Nickelodeon. Yeah, like, I can imagine, like, Nickelodeon's entire series based on Bubsy and making it a clone of Spongebob. Uh, well, what, well, there were, there was only one episode for, that was the, only the pilot. Yes, but I could see a couple episodes coming out of that thing. Like, I see the tiniest bit of a potential. Hmm. I see. Uh, what, like, do you think that, no, what, what about E3? What do you think, what do you think Nintendo's going to announce for E3 this year? Well, I know for Pokemon, they announced those two games. Mm, yeah, it was great. I did a reaction, awesome. I did a reaction video uh, about the, about the yeah, trailer book, live stream. That was a that was a pretty good pretty good reaction out of me. Yeah, I never was able to get that to catch that Pokemon. Uh, uh, I am honestly not really interested in Pokemon Tournament DX or whatever. Cause I I didn't really play that. I mean I own the game. My my brother plays it a lot. I I I don't own it. But, uh... I only played it be... I only played it a little because I... I was into... I, I like Pokemon. I, I thought it would be nice to have. Yeah. Uh, so I think it's just... I think it's only a substitute until they'll be able to make a new Smash Bros. Because here's, here's my... Here's my theory. They can't bring back the Smash Brothers from the Wii U. They have to build it from the ground up. What they if they? Just, they can't. They simply can't just port it. They have to make. They have to make a new one. What if they somehow port the same engine as Smash for Wii U, and we we get like Ice Climbers back, maybe Banjo Kazooie even. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. No, I think. No, no, no. You know, you know. I want. To, I, have, I have a couple characters that I always wanted. If you have all, if you have Peach and Rosalina. Why don't you have Daisy? You can give her like some similar sports powers to like the Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah, but uh, I I honestly think that Waluigi has a better chance on getting in. No, here's what you do: you take out Doctor Mario and then you put Daisy in. Here's what like, they you need make to Daisy do. A, a somewhat Peach clone. You give her an umbrella. You give her um, a sports kick like the Wii Fit Trainer, and then maybe you give her some. Yeah. Then, you know and what then they her should Final have. Smash can be like like instead of uh, giving instead of spawning peaches, it would give everyone flowers. Flowers. Okay. Like they, would, they, would fall, they would fall asleep, but they'd get flowers on their heads, too. Okay, so you think Daisy would be a peach clone? Yes, but she'd also have, like, the side of Wii Fit Trainer. Like, she'd be able to kick, she'd kick, kick, kick a soccer ball. I see. And, like, and, like... Also, I think the Inklings should be in Smash. 
Oh yeah, that would that's that's one of my that's one of the characters I voted for for the ballot. I I want Waluigi, uh, Banjo Kazooie, Shovel Knight definitely, one of the Inklings, and uh, maybe. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Okay, what what fake care? Um, what care? There are some characters that we want that are just like they're not in any legit. But they've been in a number of like side games, like SpongeBob is the the company is made of SpongeBob has made a ton of SpongeBob games. But SpongeBob and, like, is. Bikini Bottom. I'm and, pretty sure um, that would either be second party or third party. Not not third party, fourth party, because I'm pretty sure one, one of the two is the definition. Like, I think it would be a uh, game based on, uh, like, a TV show or a movie or something like that. I think that would be fourth party, I'm pretty sure. Maybe second party. Okay, okay here's another one of my uh, decisions, like... Obviously, no Freddy Fazbear, and no Sans. Sans is too overpowered, and I, I, I don't think so. Uh, anyone can think of a a good move set for Freddy Fazbear. Okay, and also, um, here's well, technically Freddy Fazbear he was in one RPG game. Yeah. So he does technically have a couple abilities. A little bit, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So here's the... Um, uh... Okay, there's another character I want. Oh, right. You know how Sonic is the only Sonic and a Hedgehog character in Smash? Yeah. Like, why can't we have a character, another character from that franchise? I mean, like, you did it, you got, you brought, like, you have... Like some, uh, you have like five people from Fire Emblem, and yet you only have one Sonic character. I I recommend that we have uh maybe Knuckles, and uh Knuckles or Tails, and uh classic Sonic skin or something like that. Cause classic uh, I Sonic, think whew, that, he's a man. Well, I think it would be more likely if either Shadow or Eggman got it. Uh, Shadow, Shadow honestly sounds a little bit like a Sonic clone, already. You, I mean, he is already in a well, Sis actually, trophy. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you say that, I think because Shadow is like, um, he's like a, an assist trophy? Yeah. I think, I think maybe Knuckles could be a better idea. Yeah, yeah, Knuckles would but be good. But here's another idea, an idea that I'm throwing out there, uh, but um, yeah. This. Did you know that in the original making of Smash Brothers, that Meowth was originally gonna be a playable character? I did know that. I, yeah, like, I know a lot about like, Smash Bros. Like, wouldn't it be cool instead of Jigglypuff, we got Meow? Well, Jigglypuff is actually pretty important because do you, do you think any other character can like one one shot KO someone just by sleeping? Like, just think about it. Do you think any other Pokemon could do that? Well, technically, Jigglypuff is like. Uh, I, also, um, I want to bring back Pichu. Pichu. But why do you want to bring back Pichu? I don't know. Maybe because of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Well, maybe they might make a Melee HD, but I don't, I don't get why they would do that. Because Melee is already great as it is. Also, okay, aren't you gonna talk? Okay, let's gear this thing towards flash videos. Okay, tell me a little bit about what you're planning next 
for your big channel? Uh, so right now, my plans are, I if I can manage to bring out episode nine and ten. I'm thinking about just putting them together all together and just sending out nine episodes. But if I can manage to do that. And I think I might go with a season three of Legend of the Hands. Because I, I put a poll, a uh, straw me poll or whatever it's called, a couple days ago. And about 80% of the votes got wanted season three. So I think I might do season three. I don't know when I would do season three because I think I should have a little break, you know. Because okay, so, it's, um, been, uh, it's been difficult. I have news too about my channel. The Leprechaun Bear movie comes up tomorrow, this Saturday, and um, on Sunday, we're going to have the pilot episode of Pokemon Guy come out with the new intro. Yeah, okay. And I'll be asking you guys for what what type of wacky family guy situations do you want these Pokemon to overcome? Honestly, my my favorite episode from Family Guy would probably be like I, I like season four altogether. Because um uh because my favorite episode is uh Brian Sings and Swings and uh Shapoopy <laughs> not Shapoopy. Uh Patriot Games Patriot Games I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, it, it's not all gonna be Family Guy references, but the the, the, the structure of the show is gonna be like it's gonna have the same type of characters, but also and it's also gonna have cutaways. Ooh, yeah. I I once attempted to do cutaways. I I don't do cutaways anymore. I I uh, didn't the, get them to work. I think I could pull off cutaways better because I have a ton of plushes, like so many plushes that I, to count that I think I could get away with with cutaways. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, also I want to talk briefly about something that may happen in the summer. I think I'm. You remember the plush guard Ajax Free for All? Uh, yeah, I do. It's where all the Hey Duck characters that I created, all 40 of them fought. There's going to be a sequel to that. The Plush Guard Hey Duck Free, Free For All can be found on my channel. But see, the sequel to that is going to be called Team Ultimate Hey Duck vs. Team Multiverse. Ooh. The scenario is... The scenario is... One, I think I believe twenty five pe people on Team A Ultimate A Duck versus twenty five established uh, regular characters. Oh, okay. From, so from multiple from multiple universes. So it's gonna be like one big war, I guess, right? Yes, it's, I am. Most of the characters down. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Damn! Always auto scrolls. Auto scrolls. Um. What am I gonna talk about? I'm also thinking about doing another series. Uh, if I. If I don't do a season three, I I don't really know what though. I mean, I, back on the Plush Alliance, I did have a show. It was called The New Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. I only put one episode out, but I I finished editing episode two right when I was gonna upload it. The it was the day I was gonna upload it was the same day. The Plush Alliance uh, announced that it was being canceled. So. Yeah, because I had I had so many matchups that I wanted to do with Plush Battles. Like I could think of a bunch of matchups where Bill Cipher fought a bunch of powerful characters. 
is all right. I wanna, I I wanna do. I have. Also, I wanna talk about something. How? What? How did you get? Like when did? How did you get into the Plush Alliance? And uh. I was one of its creators. What? What gave you I was the one idea? Of its creators. What gave you the idea to uh make it and like make a collab channel? Or that wasn't what, my idea. That or was what part, Mario Luigi 224. Okay. What part did you have a part of the Plush Alliance that made it important quit, and unique? He, you see, my nerd, there was a rumor that, like, um, he quit because he thought, honestly, it, it pains me to say this, but I think merging the two channels together was like one of the worst mistakes that we could have made. Like, changing the name. I he actually said, can agree with that slightly. Yeah, because... I'm sorry that I couldn't join your group channel. It's just that... Uh... Oh, it's okay. It wasn't going anywhere anyways. Speaking of which, isn't that channel still up? Uh, I'm pretty sure the Plush Alliance is still up because of, uh, because of, uh, no, arc it's an archive. I, I think it is, actually. I just haven't uploaded on there in a while. Or at all. Well, maybe you could announce, no, you could announce maybe, maybe I could bring it back, I don't know. I mean... The plus. Also, I, I tried to do critic stuff for a while. It didn't work out. I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude at all, but I'm pretty sure one of the reasons why we canceled it is because no one else was uploading except. I'm pretty sure it was you and I uploaded occasionally too, because I only uploaded like four videos on that channel. And I just. I wish I could. Re Maybe maybe you can upload like a like a compilation a compl compilation of them like on on your channel. Like there was a there was a couple of really good episodes like Total Wars and two twos and three on threes like I was really proud of like the the A Duck versus SNL little mini series I made. Yeah. Because like here's how it went down. A Duck versus SML Bowser Jr. Hmm. So like um, a so it well it didn't represent any human any time. It was about abilities of fighting and stuff. We know that SML Bowser Jr. has killed people before. Yeah. And we know that he has four abilities. Mm-hmm. So, to go up against a god like A-Duck, like, because A-Duck is a literal god. He's not a figure of god. He's, a, he's literally at god's tier. Okay. Um. So, so basically, Bowser Jr. can only break the fourth wall so he could deal some hits. So, the only time that A-Duck was actually getting damaged is where... He faced the camera away. Okay. Okay. Um, but then, but, but once A Duck managed to get control, he was able to finish off Bowser Jr. real quickly. Yeah. Yeah. The rematch option was a three on. Here's the three. The three on three option was A Duck, Duckette, and one duck versus, um, about. SML Bowser Jr., Bowser, and Mario. Okay. So like you get the you get the cowardly uh, you get the cowardly um, uh, oversensitive Mario of SML into a fight. Hmm. How? <laughs> like, what got you? What 
Uh, how did you do the character development for Ada Donald? Ada Donald is basically me. In a lot of ways, but he does have his limits. Yeah. Like, he's only, uh, he's a, he's a natural leader, but no character is perfect. Yeah. That is, that is true. Um, uh, one of he the knows things... he's running a YouTube channel, and he knows he has to protect all the plushes of his universe. Yeah, one of the things that I, that I, that I like about your channel is that it's not all about Mario, in that your name is not, like, Super Mario something, or Adjective Mario name, because <laughs> that's all we're getting these days. Eric Mario Plus Show. Yeah. Oh. Hold on. Jeez. Sorry about that. Someone was calling me. The generic Mario Plus Show. It's a... It's a... It's, it's a Mario Plus Show. Not only is a Mario Plus Show, but it parodies Mario and Plus Shows. So it's a parody. It's a parody of it of the of the genre. Yeah. For instance, you have um, Bowser Jr. always being involved in everything, just like just like a lot of a lot of other Mario plus shows. You have you have a character that's not from the Mario universe. She stays there anyway, just like in Mario Logan. Hmm. You have a, you have um, you have a Mario character that's not supposed to be a good guy hang out with the characters, just like that's Black or two and Bowser Jr. in some effect. You have. Each one of the characters represents a stereotype in Mario, in Mario plus tubing. But it doesn't just end there. It also goes to other types of Mario videos, like Mad Mad. My Mario is like a mixed couple of things. Like, it, the series is also kind of a mixture of like, you know, like Mad Mad Mario. Yeah. And it's also a mixture of that and like Sonic for Hire, where Ma Mario and his group of people, there they live in poverty, and and Mario is always getting bills from Peach because of who knows why. Hmm. And yet, and also Raven is a stalker. Wants to wants to marry Mario and and keep her all to herself. Oh, uh, okay. And she, and she and also Sans and Papyrus live there because they just because they're popular. Uh, okay, I I see. Uh, huh. Is, what, what are your thoughts on the Super Mario Logan movie? <clears throat> that is a subject that is, um, that is very hard for me to consider. Like, hold on. I don't even know how he's going to even do it with his type of schedule. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's probably finished filming and probably in the editing process now. Because he said he would, uh, he said he would, uh, put out the movie around the end of June. So, I, I, 
I think he's legitimately finishing up the movie. I don't even know how he would even do a movie with those characters. Like, for instance, what would it even be about? Maybe it's a continuation of the Mario and Luigi Stupid and Dumb Adventure series because we haven't gotten a new episode in like three years now. And my, my guess we're confirmed that Mario guess. Luigi is back. My guess is basically that it's about the golden play button. It, it has to be like. The he said he might button. do it about that. Uh, okay. Here's... But if it was gonna be about that, then I think it's gonna be pretty boring, obviously. Honestly. Maybe. Honestly, there's gonna be a lot of Jeffy screaming, because he's probably gonna have to put Jeffy in the film. Oh, yeah. One of the things I don't want about the film is for it to be all be about Jeffy. Because yeah. I'm pretty I sure that April first I I thought that April Fool's Day prank was was horrible. I I think that the older fans would like I don't think they like Jeffy and uh he has claimed in a video that a lot of a lot of his newer fans have come for Jeffy and and it's happened so far as to they're they're arguing now when Hey, where's Jeffy on a video on Junior and like, hey, where's hey, where's hey, where's Junior on most Jeffy videos? I mean, it's all stupid, and I just want, I mean, even like Mario has completely changed in the past two years. Yeah, he's not even, he's not even, he's just a jerk right now. Yep, because he always has to take care of that. He always has to take care of Jeffy. I don't to, like that. Yeah, personally, I think that if, if I was in Mario's position, yeah, I'd be a jerk too. Yeah, like I... I wouldn't even care that I'd go to jail. I want him gone. Yeah, I think I think Logan should do something about Jeffy. Either either make him better or just drop him at all. It, it might m lose him subscribers, but at least it'll keep his older fans going. And, uh... A large majority of his fans are from his old, are because of his older videos, and not because of Jeffy. And me, along with uh, my brother, we don't we don't like Jeffy. Okay, we just want him to go away. I hate Jeffy. He's, he's my least favorite character. Yep. He is. He is honestly my least favorite character. I mean, trust me, the voice actor Lance, he's he's a really good guy. He like voice acts uh like eighty percent of oh, the characters. I, I, like, I, I wonder about him, like he doesn't seem like he voices all the characters. He voices Goodman, he voices uh he voices Black Yoshi, he voices Track, like and yet you have him him scream all the time like man Logan's like a terrible brother to him yeah well unless unless Lance actually likes doing it then I don't see a problem with him like I like I I, I, I just I, I, I get this sometimes I wonder like if Logan's like every time when they're gonna make a Jeffy video he's like okay Lance you gotta get your Jeffy voice ready like do I have to do it really like that? My throat hurts. Oh, Lance, we really have to do this. Yeah. Oh. And I, I, I'm also thinking, what, what happened to the voice actor of Rose Rosalina? Because we haven't seen her in recent videos lately. Rosalina's voiced by Chili. No, she, I'm pretty sure that's a different. I'm pretty sure that's someone different. Are you sure? Yeah, because when in the 101 million video, uh, there were there were two girls. One of them was uh Chili, and one of them was someone else. She had blonde hair, and I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that was the one who voices Rosalina. What is that? Lo Logan's ex. I I think it is Lo Logan's ex. I honestly I don't know. 
Because, and I'm pretty sure there was another guy too. It's it's all drama. Yeah. Like I I watch uh, Lance's videos. He has a YouTube channel, and he has just been spilling the beans with all the drama recently. So that's how I know all this. So um. Uh... gonna do like three either three videos a week or one video a week three videos per month because he said he was gonna do one video about Jeffy one video about Junior and one video about another character either new or old but not Jeffy or Junior or maybe yeah, the two he's together gonna, he's gonna be characters and maybe people would think like, oh maybe it's gonna be Woody or something no, you get a Shrek video about pooping on the couch. He's, he's, I'm pretty sure he is going to make a new Shrimpo Hunter sooner or later. No. It wouldn't just to have a, just any video about him. Hmm. Like, you have all these characters and you, you isolate yourself from them. I see. Even I have bunch of characters. Like I said, the plush guard age of pre pro had forty characters. Hmm. Yeah, um I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of our podcast. Uh uh once again, uh Aduck is making uh the Leprechaun Bear movie coming out tomorrow. So uh yeah you can go check out his channel in the description. Also, if you want to see more of these, please comment in the comments section below. Like and subscribe. Uh, once again, this is Superminer64. And uh, yeah, Superminer64 signing out.